Here are some best practices in dealing with cancellations with your short-term rentals. If somebody hits us up and it's an emergency, they've got something that's really like death to find, like somebody had just passed away and or somebody's extremely sick or and or in the hospital, we will discern through these messages and we will be heartful. We will understand and deal with them with empathy. And nine times out of 10, if we feel like they are not lying, which sometimes you get liars in Airbnb specifically, we will actually work with them and, and uh, either reschedule them and or allow them to cancel. So at that point, here's what we do when we have people that we feel like that are just trying to get out of the home. We adhere to our cancellation policy and we have a moderate cancellation policy. And essentially it's not a strict cancellation policy where you take all the money up to a certain amount of time. We have three tier system. like. Up to 30 days, you get all your money back. Up to two weeks, you get half of your money back. Within seven days, we keep all your money kind of thing. So that's kind of what we do. We do the moderate policy and it actually helps us rank better in Airbnb because of that. So that's how we handle that. And if somebody is just you know, having change of plans, we will also allow them to extend their booking into a future date, but they lose the money. They have to rebook at a certain time later, as long as it's not on a holiday and it's gonna be equivalent to the money that they spent. So that's how we deal with it.